and did not disappoint, right? It, was, no, it, it would be a, a bad show to like be like, all right, I beat this player who's supposed <laughs> to go over me, and then I just get mollywopped. Like, ah, oh, that sucks. No, 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 taking no, no. Mr. R to a game five, very, very good showing from Udomo. I expect to see him much higher on the NorCal P Hour next season. Yeah. But for right now, we have our next set of players coming up. We have Ally and Myron. Ally and I, Ally and Myron, man. Are you? Do you know if they've played in this game yet? You know what? I don't know if they I do, know, but if they even if this is the first time, I'm really excited to see Myron, of course, having sure. a great showing at Frostbite. And then Absolutely. Ally being the legend of Snake that he is, you know, one of the Brawl vets. And of course, like him and MVD being like top, top snakes uh, from the past. Totally, man. Obviously, Myron's Olimar a treat to watch. He's super proficient with his pick management. Mm -hmm. um, and just like one of the, he's been one of the top Olimars since at least Smash 4. I mean, I, I didn't know, I wasn't around in Brawl, so I, I can't speak to that. Uh -huh. Ally, also just super fun to watch. Uh, definitely a little bit different than the other snakes, I would say, but oh, for sure. a completely different beast in his own right. That's right. I mean, we're just going to get to, get a, it's going to be a good treat no matter which way that yeah. uh, Ally is going to be playing should, today. Should be a good set. But I want to see how Ally is just going to deal with the defensive play that Myra's going to be putting out. Myra is very proficient, like you said, with pigment management. But he's also very proficient at making sure his opponents have a most difficult time getting between him and the Pikmin. Yeah. Or the, yeah, putting the Pikmin between him and his opponent. Absolutely. So we should be getting this match underway shortly. Uh, let's take a look at just some of the upsets that happened yesterday in Winter Size. One, two that really stuck out to me, right, are... Cookie Slayer taking out Gluttony and Winners 2-1. Yeah. And then the other one was Quick beating Salem also 2-1 in Winners. That's right. I mean, that that one actually just blew my mind. I yeah. saw it because, honestly, the night before when we were at the Zero Suit uh, pre-Saga yeah. event, uh, we it was Gluttony, Javi, MK Leo, or I'm sorry, Quick, Javi, MK Leo, and myself talking about the the his match with Salem mm -hmm. and how he was preparing for it and he looked like he did his homework he knew how he was going to approach the matchup uh, he wasn't he said he was going to stick it out with Samus he wasn't sure if he was going to bring out Zero Suit but it looked like the Samus was enough to overcome Salem yeah man I'm not surprised I, I didn't get to see that set between Quick and Salem from yesterday yet but I, I got to see Quick um, as he performed in our locals here he was here early got yes. here on Wednesday night and went from the airport, he came out of Germany, right? He's the number one player in Germany. He came straight from the airport to Wednesday Night Fights, man. Oh, that's and the, that's got how place. you know the grind yeah. is real. So we got Ally and Myron kicking it off on Battlefield for game number one. Okay, and now, you know, it's time to find out how is Ally going to deal with this barrage of Pikmin that is Myron? Absolutely, I mean, I, I don't know how this matchup goes, but I just feel like you know, obviously Snake is going to be tossing a lot of grenades or setting up a lot of grenades. It may be actually just be tough for Olimar as a lot of these Pikmin may just beat premature deaths. So he may be unable to use a lot of his toolkit in a lot of the situations. As you can see right now, he's down to only a purple and a yellow. Not too bad. Oh, but the stair stepper coming out from the shield, just a good option. The stair max. The stair max. <laughs> the stair stepper. The F tilts is really what I want to see from Ally. It's so reminiscent of Brawl Snake. Just, of course, you know, that oh, and up tilt. Wow, dude, he dropped down off of that platform with the quickest up tilt. I mean, I didn't even see it coming. Myron didn't see it coming. Ally only taking 30% on that stock, already obliterating Myron on his, on his. C4 on this left platform right here, something to keep in mind. He's going to detonate it just to forewarn Myron, you cannot come over here. Yeah, and it's really interesting to see, like, Myron being forced to approach. I mean, we see Ally, of course, having the stock lead, looking for a pivot grab, but typically Myron is the one who plays uh, a little bit more defensive. Yeah, absolutely, but oh. it's just, it's so hard, man. It's like, it, it's like he's already a stock down, right? Not only yeah. that, but Ally and Snake, Snake in particular, Snake can play the same type of game that Olimar wants to play, if not even a little bit better, particularly in this matchup. Here comes Nikita. I will say one thing in this matchup is that whenever it comes to the projectile war of throwing out Pikmin and throwing out grenades, uh, Ooh, the Pikmin... Oh my will... god! Myron with a pickup at a disadvantage up in the blast zone, getting the up air, but he's already trailing a ton of percent. That's right, and those grenades will actually be stopped by the Pikmin that are being thrown towards him. So 
he has to be very careful the way that he actually uh, lobs grenades over to Myron. But getting the drop down there and parrying the oh. up tilt, but another up tilt comes out from Ally. That would have been so clean, but the parry was clean. Nonetheless, unfortunate demise for Myron either way. Mm -hmm. Dash attack, but no Pikmin available to grab Ally for the punish. Oh. And the drop Hello. down. All right, he got the uh, stage spike into the ground, but he, when he was even able to convert it into a backer. That's so much damage for Ally. He's got such good control of the stage. Beautiful purple Pikmin toss from Myron to get back as well. That's right, we see another purple Pikmin being thrown at Ally, and it just continues to put him in tumble. Dash attack, punishing, and taking out a couple of Pikmin along the way. Okay, he gets a grab, down throw, he's gonna get a read. Oh, very smart from Myron. He knows that Ally was looking for some type of roll or get up, so he just knocked him right out of that. Yeah, get up attack, just beating out that patient wait from Ally. Forward smash, gonna send him flying. Two purple Pikmin out on the field. However, Myron at 137 with the key to out. Such a dire circumstance. Ooh, dash attack was almost enough to take that. And using the Akita to take out that purple Pikmin in front of Ally. Another dash attack, good DI from Myron. Oh, oh, oh using the whistle armor to stop the Nikita. That was amazing. However, Myron already at 179. If he gets grabbed here, it's a guaranteed kill confirm into that up tilt. And I like that Ally is not worried about the Pikmin that's getting latched on him. He's just looking for the punish. And another dash attack, a fresh dash attack yeah, he was will take the stock. He was able to get so many of those dash attacks. I mean, it's it's a really smart play from Ally, recognizing that Myron, a lot of these times, whenever he was tossing these Pikmin to either you know hit him with aerials or try to uh, use the side special Pikmin toss to latch the Pikmin onto him, that he he's jumping a lot of these times. So after this jump, Obviously, he has to land, and how is he going to land when I got a dash attack right there to meet you with it? And outside of the purple Pikmin, if Myron is uh, committing to throwing Pikmin at Ally, dash attack is going to go through all those Pikmin. Yeah. And just like just yeah, continue just on forward up. and onto Myron. Yeah, dash attack, incredibly strong move, and that's what I'm talking about. It just seems like the, the management of Pikmin in this matchup is so much harder than a lot of other matchups. Uh, grenades are just constantly out on the field doing a lot of damage to his Pikmin, possibly even killing them. A lot of allies' attacks, a lot of snakes' attacks yep. are also doing the same thing. Okay, well, here we go. Game two, Myron versus Ally. And now we're going to have a much bigger stage with Pokemon Stadium 2. It's going to be a lot more wider, but a couple of dash attacks is going to put Myron back on the ledge. <laughs> it looks like he's able to, like, chain a couple dash attacks just, like, straight up. Like, oh, dash attack, here's another one, dash attack. More dash attacks, <laughs> but Neftil is going to come out, and that's, again, putting Myron back on the ledge. Wow, he he timed the grenade. He cooked yeah. the grenade long enough so they would explode right in front of Myron and actually be a threat to the Pikmin. Right, yeah. And you can see these pe the Pikmin are dying left and right. Though did, much you, did you see the, the Pikmin throw actually exploded the bomb because it has the fire property? Yes, that's <laughs> true. That's something that you got to keep in mind as well. Fire Pikmin will automatically detonate the, uh, the grenades. Okay, Maybe so it, does it, I wonder if it beats out any of the other explosives just straight up. Hmm. Well, we'll have to find out and see. We see Myron retreating to the platform, and an up tilt going to get punished by F Smash from Myron. All right, this is exactly what Myron needs to take that first stock and secure a bit of a percent lead. Ally, though, not going to give him any room to breathe, trying to already connect with that up tilt. That's right. Certainly kill percentage for Olimar at this point. That's right, 116% onto Myron. You see. One red Pikmin being uh, on the field. A couple of S smashes coming out from Myron, making it very difficult to, for Ally to uh, really approach. Dang, I like that. He went in there, snuck in with a down tilt. Myron able to, uh, he just backed away and latched some Pikmin on and then forced Ally into shield, so he was able to get a grab out of that as well. Mm -hmm. oh See, another God. up air, and even trying to approach with up B to get another up air, trying to send Ally into the skies real early. Okay, covering, his, uh, covering the ledge with grenades, making sure Ally's gonna be able to make it back to stage. We see White Pikmin getting up tilted and an S smash going to reach Ally. Yeah, with the red Pikmin once again. He's got two red Pikmin right now. This is probably exactly what Myron needs. Forward tilt, still not enough to kill. Here comes Nikita. Interesting He's gonna that. use the armor. Oh. Ally opted to go for a, a dash, uh, F tilt instead of an up tilt. Yes. Probably just safer, quicker maybe. Up smash right there for Myron, going to connect and Ally down to his last stock. That's right, Myron looking really good here in game two. We see Eftil covering the ledge, and now Myron finding himself off stage again. It seems to be the, the name of the game. When Myron's on stage, it is uh, him throwing Pikmin. 
If he's not on stage, it's Ally taking control. I gotta say, Z Fly, man, the level of adaptation that Myron has shown from game one to this is night and day, right? Like, Ally pretty solidly had the lead throughout game two, but this is like an even stronger lead than Ally had in game one for Myron. That's this right. time. And look at the way that he's approaching Ally. He's forcing Ally in shield by latching Pikmin onto him, yeah. and then he's running in Ally's face and boxing him. Yeah, That's like a 3v1 fight. How do you do that? <laughs> oh, okay. Here's an up tilt. Ally still going to be alive in this game. 110%. He's not in super danger, but he is going to take a lot of percent with the Pikmin, and he lands on him into that up smash. That's right. You got to put some respect on that purple Pikmin. Oh, yeah, Ally yeah. always in danger. Either it's going to be from taking combo into high damage or even taking stocks pre-100%. Yeah, for those of you that don't know, the Pikmin do have different properties. Uh, purple Pikmin being the most damaging oh, definitely and the having beefiest. the most knockback. Obviously, they're really big. So purple, that makes a lot of sense. The purple Pikmin's property is definitely swole. <laughs> swole. <laughs> the swole property. It's the swole I like it, Pikmin. I like it. <laughs> I love that. Okay, yeah. so now we have Ally thinking long and hard about where he wants to counter pick two. Of course, this game three is going to be so important in the set because if it does go to game five, it is going to determine who has the final counter pick. That is so true, Z Fly. So let's see. He's got to be really smart about this. He's want, gonna want to secure the win. Oh, that's right. Wait, I don't haven't seen a stage on Yoshi's Island now. I think about. Are you gonna do it? I mean, oh. I mean, I ban that stage every time, but it would be a really smart pick. Super small. The explosions are just gonna kill super early. But on the on the adverse side, uh, Pikmin will also be able to kill really earlier as well. I just would give the advantage to Snake if, if I had to. Yeah, especially with the way that he's able yeah. to just low profile yeah. against the ground, and then it's like curved out throughout True. the entire True, yeah. stage. I would definitely give it to a Snake to, for the advantage. Ooh, I like that. Actually, uh, Ally holding onto a grenade and dropping it on the floor before uh, beneath him. So when he rolled out, it actually uh, blew up the Pikmin that Myron had tossed at him. Nice, nice. And now you see it again. The barrage of Pikmin getting, uh, actually stopping the approach of the grenade. All right. Double Here. dash attack. Yeah, man. You know he so was looking strong. for a third one. <laughs> oh, he definitely wanted that. <laughs> But Myron making quick work right here, surmounting 90% already off of that red Pikmin. Again, really smart management from Myron. Yeah. Oh! That red Pikmin doing so much work, and oh. now we see it. Two purple made. and a red? I never thought I'd say this is an optimal lineup for Olimar, possibly. But uh, in this matchup, it's looking like it. Oh, sacrificing the red, but the red's still alive. Oh, there it goes. He, he did. Oh! Okay. Getting an up smash, and that's going to allow uh, Ally to throw out a C4 just to cover his landing. He's having such a hard time just getting back to the stage. Yo, another Ooh, red. Did you he see that? with the grenade. <laughs> that was Yo, sick. That was awesome. All right. Myron looking so clean, but he's got uh, Ally to 181. He's got to be really careful, especially on this tap top platform. That oh. up tilt was super dangerous. Trying to bait Myron in to try and punish his Nikita. And now back to throwing our grenades. Another dash attack that seemed to be the real MVP of game one. Nikita in Myron's face. But no! Pulled Dude. out the clutch, man. He top deck a blue Yo. Pikmin. <laughs> yeah. You're looking like Yu-Gi-Oh out here, bro. <laughs> he knew. Oh, beautiful tech from Myron just prolonging this stock. And you know that Myron was running out of gas on the recovery just with the amount of time that he was stalling on the side of the stage. Yeah. He was going to force the tech. But when you when you are the one that's initiating the the, the explosion, it makes it a lot easier to get that tech. Oh, there! Ooh. No, it wasn't. Not in, not at all. All right, but F tilt gonna connect. Still not gonna uh, kill from center stage. Nikita, such a good edge guarding tool. I mean, Ally doesn't need to be anywhere even by the edge of the stage to be able to chase his opponents off. Yeah, Shane, there again. You know, really making quick work of those Pikmin that Myron has, putting them through the minefield that is battlefield. Beautiful down air out of shield from Ally, starting to make this comeback slowly but surely, taking a little bit of damage from his own grenades. Again, the red Pikmin is such a crucial thing. I mean, Myron is recognizing he has a red Pikmin. Whenever Ally wants to cook a grenade, red Pikmin in your face, boom. That's right. And then, of course, if the Pikmin does come out, it's just going to initially explode the grenade right in Ally's face. We see more grenades coming out from Ally, but no red Pikmin to combat. Oh, okay. Un unorthodox or air dodge right there. Uh, he had to toss his purple Pikmin and they weigh him down the most. So his recovery is going to be shortened if he's holding on to more Pikmin. And that was so smart from Ally. He tried. He knew that Myron was going to try and recover high, especially after getting that tech. And he uses 
his own recovery to just challenge his uh, Myrans. But we see another Nikita is going to explode onto a purple Pikmin. Okay, there's that purple, uh, red Pikmin. I wonder if the red Pikmin is latched onto him, if, like, Ally is pretty much unable to uh, draw a grenade. Maybe maybe if it's, like, latched onto his arm or something like that. Well, unable to land is definitely the name of the game as Ally gets uh, another stock taken. But Nikita coming in clutch for Ally once Nikita. again. Nikita MVP, man, top character in this game. Well, we see. I mean, I don't know. I feel like in this sense, definitely red Pikmin. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you're right, you're right. <laughs> Okay, down tilt coming out, and Ally escaping the ledge using his <laughs> double jump and air dodging back to the center stage. Yeah, it's funny, actually. I saw um, uh, Armada, right? They tweeted out the players that were going to be at Prime Saga, and they oh. put the uh, pictures of the characters as well for, for Meyer, and it was just a yellow Pikmin. Maybe they should have <laughs> put a red Pikmin. Oh, instead. but we see a shield break! Yo! Is he going to be able to kill him? At red Pikmin? Oh, okay. Yeah. So he latched the Pikmin onto him. It didn't look like the Pikmin latch was actually enough because it doesn't actually put any hits done. Yeah. So and he, it, he was just like free damage while his ally was dazed. He, he needed to get that uh, damage, so he used the red Pikmin, obviously using the purple uh, Pikmin to get the stronger punish. Unfortunately, if he had a white Pikmin, that's the most damaging Pikmin when, oh, when latched sure. on. So. But you got to use what you have. Yeah. And it's, as you can see, Myron making great use of these double purple Pikmin. Hey, another down air. And ally retreating to the ledge. Oh, the C4 catching Myron. With that 68%, Myron, it does have a, a healthy lead, but that can evaporate so quick. Dude, this is some of the most aggressive. There's that white Pikmin, and it's latched on, doing so much damage. Yeah, pressuring with the up smash on shield as well. And we uh -oh. see an up air connecting onto Ally. We see C4 on the top platform. If Myron does, in fact, lose uh, control of where it is, he might actually just get exploded. But Yo. this smash connecting. Yo! He blew up, man. Sea fly. This is such a tight set right here. Ally down a game. Myron one point away from making this. I, don't, I mean, I don't know about the seating, but I, I would say this is a potential upset, right? Like according to seating, Al, uh, Myron, a great player. I'm, I wouldn't be surprised to see this win happen at all. This is some of the most aggressive uh, Olimar play that I, I've seen in in Smash and Smash Ultimate alike. Well, uh, it's interesting because the character normally likes to play very passive, but yeah. in this matchup, it seems like it's it's really benefiting him to just constantly be barraging Ally with That's the true. Pikmin That's and true. being very, in his very, face. Very true. Uh, as far as seeding goes, it, it wouldn't be an upset because Myron is the higher okay. seed yeah. coming into that this makes, set. That makes a little bit more sense. Yeah, especially like with his past performances yes. like within his own region. And that, that's what I'm saying. I wouldn't be surprised. But Ally is still a legend. He's got Everyone the legacy. Knows. He's got the legacy. Exactly. And now we're here on Yoshi's Island. We were talking about how we hadn't really seen he anyone. He saved it, man. He yep. saved it. And now here it is. We're going to see if he's able to use a low profile or if Myron, being the small character he, that he is, uh, is able to just make this stage turn to his advantage. Yeah, and it looks like Myron, well aware of how he can make this stage work for him. He was trying to hold down that center stage. It's going to be such a good spot for him to be in, especially because of how low the center of the stage is. Uh, it's going to make him harder to be hit because of how small he already is. Exactly. And we see just good dash dancing into a dash attack. We saw another dash attack come out, but it does not work for Ally. And now. One thing that's pretty interesting to know is that whenever uh, Myron is on those up slopes, up like uh, those up uh, right. angle slopes, uh, the S smashes actually stop a little bit short. Ah, oh, interesting. Oh, here comes Nikila. Able to land on him with the neutral air. No follow up. Okay, we see Nikila being exploded again, taking out that purple Pikmin, which of course you know is such a nuisance to Ally. Oh, oh just running right into that up tilt Ally, moving up on this first stock. Only 102% Snake is pretty heavy, so he's not quite in danger of dying yet. Except to maybe a purple Pikmin. Did you see that yellow Pikmin drag the grenade back to Myron? Oh my god, I forgot that was a thing. They pick up the <laughs> items on the floor. <laughs> so Could just, be a blessing and a curse, man. Exactly, and that's right here. As you can see, it was not working in Myron's favor. But 98%, Myron already approaching death, and a Nikita oh. to put two stocks away from Myron. Yeah, Myron tried to challenge it with a hitbox. Unfortunately, Nikita exploding a tad too early in his face. Oh my god, what oh is this god. barrage of Ally? Dude, I felt Ally. He wanted a forward air so Dude, bad. This is definitely looking <laughs> like the old Ally. The legendary oh, Ally. No. The C4 Ally! Oh, Ally just shaking his head like, man, <laughs> was that even... I didn't even do anything, man. <laughs>
Three stock, though. <laughs> How could you be shaking your head like that? You dominated him in that game. Well, on our stage list, see, Yoshi's Island does have the smallest blast yeah, zones. Yeah, it's, it's and as you can see, Ally, the, <laughs> the make, smallest. Ally, of course, you know, <laughs> taking advantage like, of uh, all that. Haha, <laughs> 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 Yoshi's Island. <laughs> That's why he was taking it as like, why yeah. is this thing like, oh. <laughs> But whatever. Ally, hey, of man, course, making. Use what you got. Exactly. And now that's going to put Myron and Ally at game five, going back to final uh, to Battlefield. And I believe the score uh, on the set is actually 1 1 in terms of Myron and Ally in the set. Okay. For this stage. For the stage, right. yes. Yes, on the stage. All right. So this, as you said at Z Fly, this is game number five. We've had a really down to the wire. Set really back and forth adaptation from both players. We're gonna see who's gonna make it out through the winner's side into top 32. Well, Myron starting out strong. He's really forcing Ally to approach, but the stair stepper comes out Ooh. and an up smash to catch Ally jumping. So far, it's looking like Myron really wants this win. He's got two purple and a white. He's got the white latched on. Okay, immediate up tilt to get it off. It's really right. smart more, by Ally. More nade play from Ally, even using the B reversal to mix up his landing. But Myron was wise to it, and he caught him with an up air. Yeah, Ally back on the ground. Block. Oh, my. His Ally's shield takes so much damage as soon as Myron gets close to him. Woo! Yo, what a follow-up with the up air. Still not enough to take the stock yet. That's right. And just even looking for when Myron's going to be using the whistle and then just really timing it after. Okay. Dude, he wanted to challenge the Cypher for sure. Purple Pikmin uh, probably does enough damage to get it get it out. Oh, oh no. the chase down with the Nikita. He tried to avoid it. He tried so hard, but he just couldn't, man. And that's Don't. such a hard position to get out of because once the Nikita is like parallel with you, yeah. if you air dodge, especially as Olimar, he can just kind of cover, just find out where you're going to come out of the invincibility and then just explode. It moves so fast too. Like it's not like he, Myron could have really just like, you know, canceled his uh, up special and gone into the down special to use those armor frames on the whistle. They're actually like the in-between frames. So the armor does not immediately come out. Right, right, right. Well, as you can see, we had a lot of back and forth between our two players, and now with a lot of explosions working oh. in Ally's favor. Ooh, but, ooh, where did these grenades set up? Them, man. Yeah, the traps coming in. Making a making quick work of Myron, already putting him at 133%. Yo. Another Nikita. Yeah, and it looked like Myron didn't even see that Nikita coming towards him. There's a oh my god, connecting into it again. And of course, Ally taking all full advantage of the Nikita and the no hitbox on the recovery, but a quick back air from Myron, and that's gonna put Ally on his second stock. Still up almost a full stock. Uh, we, can't, spot dogs. we can't count Myron out yet. Oh, no Pikmin available. The purple Pikmin a little too thick, man. I mean, sometimes, <laughs> you know, the attention span of a Pikmin is like, really too small. slow. <laughs> you know, he's been at the gym, but he's not doing enough cardio. <laughs> okay, another down smash with purple Pikmin on both sides. It's going to catch Ally's recovery. Recovering high again, but oh, going so high, trying to catch Ally once again. 90% here. Ally still healthy on this stock. Myron down to his winner side life, man. That's right. After I mean, such a great performance, you don't want to see him quite go out like this yet. But with Ally at 96%, you know that Myron can easily take out a stock, but as long as Ally stays center stage, Myron's going to have such a tough time covering the air dodge with the dash attack and now putting C4, making sure that Myron does not go for ledge. Yeah, immediate explosion, exactly. 103 to 83 now. Myron really struggling on this stock, and you can see Ally playing a little bit more evasive. Yo, the setup. The off of the grenade onto the top platform. And then even following Whoa. up with the up tilt. That Myron completely in hit stun, that could not amazing. do anything. And that's the type of snake play that I think separates Ally.